Have you ever seen something so cute that you just want to squeeze the bejesus out of it? You may get this from your pets with those puppy dog eyes or that smoochy cat headbutt. Grandmas seem to get this urge when they see chubby baby cheeks and they have to squish them. <laughs> this is called cute aggression. It's not like we want to hurt them, but we do get this overwhelming emotion towards something with too much cuteness. And it's this emotion I want to generate in you today. My cute aggression wells up for the platypus. This animal is solely native to Australia and it's a monotreme, meaning it's an egg-laying mammal. This mashup of a duck bill, beaver-tailed and webbed feet have captivated people right across the globe. And especially our first Europeans who thought they were a hoax. I've been lucky to be up close and personal with this animal as part of my PhD research. But it all began when I volunteered on a monitoring expedition in the Grampians National Park in Victoria. Our day starts in the afternoon when we're puddling around in the rivers in our waders, setting up specialised nets. Then we're checking these nets throughout the night because platypuses are nocturnal and this is when they're more active. To my amazement, we caught three platypuses during that trip. And I was lucky enough to hold a little female. And I had a moment. I looked into her eyes felt the soft brown fur on her back, and I became mesmerised. I then had these emotions well up in me to squish her, but I didn't. Don't worry. I contained myself and she was safely released. But it was this emotion that triggered an urge in me to take action. It inspired me to learn more about this animal, and when I realised that there was a lack of effort towards their conservation, especially here in Queensland, it scared me. It scared me because this iconic animal with its elusive behaviour is at such high risk of disappearing right under our noses. This is when I started my journey researching them to understand their plight in Queensland and become their champion to not only fight for their conservation, but ultimately protect freshwater ecosystems. Fast forward seven years, this is Pollyanna, one of the platypuses I had the pleasure to meet during my research. And like the first little platypus that I met, I was just as overcome with cute aggression for her. She was so sleepy. She curled and snuggled up in the bag and as you can imagine, my team and I let out a resounding, oh. But those emotions welled up in me and it grounded me to my cause to fight for this species. How could you not be overcome with cute aggression? I think they just ooze so much cuteness. And it's from this excessive cuteness that this animal has led me to different community groups from catchment groups to schools to men's sheds because they're intrigued by this mysterious animal. And I talk to them about all things platypus, from their biology to ecology to the threats they face within their vulnerable freshwater habitats and also what they can do to help. But what I've found is that when people connect to cuteness, they're ignited to take action. And it doesn't have to be all out grand actions like me going into platypus research. What really counts is the small, consistent actions that build up into bigger impacts. Like picking up rubbish on your daily walk can amount to piles not being washed into our waterways and oceans, reducing wildlife entanglement as well as microplastics. Planting native trees can help restore acres of degraded landscape making sure our wildlife have food and shelter, but also a healthy ecosystem for everyone. Turning off lights saves energy and reduces greenhouse gases. And so much more. For the platypus, this reduces their risk of entanglement in things like hair ties and rubber bands, 
as well as making sure that they have habitat that they can burrow into for sheltering sites and plenty of food to eat. Then these actions speak for themselves. As people see others in action and share their knowledge and ideas of conservation efforts, the ripple effect disperses throughout the community and beyond, creating change. For example, the capacity of this room, 500 of you, how much water do you think we could together save if we reduced our showers by one minute a day? That's 6,000 litres. Over a year, that's nearly 2.2 million litres of water, just shy of an Olympic-sized swimming pool. That is a lot of water that we can conserve and then share with our wildlife. And especially for the platypus, they highly depend upon water to survive. They feed, mate and move within water. During drought periods, platypuses are left without a home. But we can help by conserving water. There are so many things that we can do collectively that will amount to big impacts. And not just for platypuses, but for all wildlife. Find an animal that brings out the cute aggression in you and become its champion. Be inspired and advocate in small, actionable ways. The obviously cute are more likely to get the attention. But today, I want to challenge you to go beyond the obvious and see cuteness in all types of species. Fluffy moths, googly-eyed spiders, even chubba frogs are just as adorable. Quolls, bilbies, snakes, and we have so many captivating insects. Your advocacy for these species greatly helps protect and restore the habitats they call home and share with others. Find an animal that you love. It's the first small step to the ripple effect of actions that will amount to change. And don't underestimate your ability to create that change. And then find like-minded comrades to join in this crusade with you, whether it's your family, your friends, your street, your local community, or even beyond. Connection between nature and people is a happy activity. And there really is something for everyone. If you like a cold one, there's bush care and beers. You can go out restoring the bush and then be rewarded with an ice cold beer. Find an animal, connect, look into its eyes, have a moment, become mesmerized by its existence and let that cute aggression overcome you. We have thousands of captivating species. So today, I ask you, which cutie will you champion? Thank you so much.